Wesley's Tasty Kitchen. Today is Tex-Mex Day. We're quite fond of Tex-Mex. We do it quite often around here. We are making fajitas, chicken fajitas. This is the chicken. This is the peppers. We have green, red, and yellow, and onions. Uh, we're going to have it with some refried beans, flour tortillas, or chicken, and some avocados. I don't know if we're going to make the guacamole or just slicing up the avocados. And we have the fajitas. I can try here. I either use a cast iron skillet. Today I'm using my cast iron wok. Just have a little more room. Uh, I'm cooking on my induction cookout because it gets hotter than my regular stove top. I'm going to start with the vegetables and with the peppers first. And it's really hot. It's not really really sturdy. I start with the peppers for a few minutes and add the onions. Get the vegetables about 75% of the way cooked, and then we'll take them off, and we'll put the chicken about 75% of the way through, and then add the vegetables back to it, and cook it all the way the rest of the way with the seasoning as well. See, I've now added the onions a few minutes ago. Some of the peppers are starting to brown very well. As I said earlier, I'm using grape seed oil because of its high heat. You can also use peanut oil. There's two oils that can handle high heat very, very well. And you need an oil that can handle the high heat for this kind of cook. And now I'm going to start adding a little bit of taco seasoning. Probably about a couple of tablespoons worth. I kind of do it by ear. Really to your liking. And maybe about a tablespoon of chili powder, a little less than the taco seasoning. And then maybe a teaspoon of cumin, since it's got a really strong flavor. And I do just a dash of, of, of salt, pepper, garlic blend, because some tacos, you have to watch, some taco seasoning have more sodium than others. Mine is kind of a mixture of two. One of them hardly has any sodium in it. And the other one has I'm some. I'm getting ready to drop in the chicken. It's going to sizzle. Fur, boneless, skinless chicken breast. This was about three good sized breasts cut up into pieces for this thing. We're a family of four and we really do chow down on this. This will feed us well. Uh, for a family of four, three breasts are yeah, more than done. Same, about two tablespoons. About one tablespoon of the uh, chili powder. And about a teaspoon worth of the cumin. You want to measure it out if you can. I play it by ear. I've done this for so long. But some people prefer to just measure things out and definitely with baking with cakes and so forth I do measure out there you have to be exact but with this a little less or a little more usually doesn't hurt it I'm probably about 70 to 75 percent of the way cooked on the chicken now so I'm adding the vegetables back to it so the onions and the peppers are going back in with it all cooked together and we'll actually just serve it out of this pan and it'll keep it warm. I'm now going to turn it down just a notch or two. Chicken from fajitas are now done. Very high setting. They are ready to eat. I will show you a plated up pitcher while we enjoy them tonight. 